Hello. The purpose of today's demonstration is to show how to identify if large files have been enabled on a database. If large files have not been enabled on a database, then we will walk through the command for enabling them. Let's begin by creating a demo database that we will use for our demonstration. I'm in a pro ENV prompt, and we will now begin. To create a database, a demo database from our default Sports 2000 database, the command would be ProDB demo space Sports 2000. Once the database is created, we can check to see if large files has been enabled by issuing the command ProUtil database name space minus uppercase C space describe. If we take a moment to look at the output from the describe command, what you will see is the name of the database, the version, the block size, um, the largest cluster size, creation and last open dates, information regarding the last schema change, the BI block size, the cluster size, as well as backup information. The section that we're interested in looking at today is database features. The database features that we see that already exist with the default database is 64-bit DB keys, large keys, and 64-bit sequences. We, however, do not see anything regarding large files having been enabled against the database. To enable large files against the database, the command would be ProUtil, the database name, space minus uppercase C, and then enable large files. When you enable large files against a database, you will receive a message back indicating that, in fact, large files have been enabled against the database. It's a 9425 message. That message will also be written to your database log file. Now, if we rerun that command, the describe command, and look at the output, specifically in the database features section, you will now see large files having been enabled against this database. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for joining.